Hi, I'm Andy from the Bumblebee Conservation Trust and today I'm really excited to talk to you about the Bumblebee Conservation Trust's What's That Bumblebee app. The What's That Bumblebee app is free to download and is available for both Apple and Android devices. It's designed to be used by absolutely anybody, regardless of their age or their Bumblebee experience. The overall aim of the app is to get people looking more closely at bumblebees and hopefully having a bit of fun, while at the same time developing some basic bumblebee identification skills and becoming a bit more confident in identifying bumblebees too. In this video, we're gonna have a quick look at the What's That Bumblebee app, and I'm gonna show you some of the main features and how to use them. So the first thing that we have to do is open up the app. And I'm gonna do that on my phone, but I'll also stick a phone up here so that you guys can follow along with me. Now the first thing you'll see when you enter the app is the home screen. Now there are three main ways that you can use the What's That Bumblebee app. And the first one is if you've seen a bumblebee when you're out and about and you'd like to try and figure out what type of bumblebee that is, you can use the species information pages to help you do that. So if you have a quick look on, on the app, we've got eight species of bumblebees on the app. These are the eight most common species. There are actually 24 species of bumblebee in the UK, but the vast majority of all the bumblebees that we see will be one of these eight most common. So to keep things nice and simple, we've just included those in the app. So let's say, for example, we think we might have a buff-tailed bumblebee. Uh, we're gonna click on the buff-tailed bumblebee and that will take us into the buff-tailed bumblebee species information page. Now you'll see on that page, we've got some identification illustrations at the top and we've got the queen. If we scroll to the left, we've got the worker. And again, if we scroll, we'll have an image of the male. And if we scroll down, we've got some nice helpful images of the queen, worker and male, along with some information that will be helpful to help us identify it. We've also got a map showing where we might find these bumblebees and the time of year when we might expect to see them. We've also got a fact about the bumblebee and at the bottom we've got some options of other species in the common eight species that are similar to this species. So we can go ahead and click on one of those. Let's choose, for example, the garden bumblebee and we can have a look at the garden bumblebee in the same way and that can help us decide whether we've got a buff-tailed bumblebee or a garden bumblebee. Again, at the bottom there, the similar species so we can have a look through as many as we want until we've figured out which bumblebee that we've got. If at any point you'd like some guidance on how to go about identifying a bumblebee, there's a little eye in the top right-hand corner and if we click on that, that will open up an how to identify a bumblebee guide. It's got information about the different body parts, about tail colours and banding um, and where you can get some more information if you want it. So throughout the app, if at any point you would like to bring up that guide, you just click on the little eye in the top right hand corner and that will bring up that guide for you. Now the species information guides are great if you're trying to identify a bumblebee, but they're also great if you just want to sit down with a cup of tea and learn a little bit more about each of the common species. Now the second feature of the app that we're gonna talk about is the compare function. Now, if you're looking at a bumblebee and you're not quite sure whether it's a white tail or a garden bumblebee, or whether it's a red tail or an early bumblebee, then the compare function will allow you to set those two species up side by side and compare them directly. Now, there are two ways you can access the compare function. Now, from the home screen here, in the top left-hand corner, there are three little bars. If you click on that, that brings up the main menu. And the third function down is the compare bumblebee function. Now that's gonna bring up two blank boxes where we can select bumblebees. So in the left box, I'll hit the plus and I'm gonna choose the white-tailed bumblebee. And then the right box, I'll hit the plus and I'll choose the garden bumblebee. Now, you can see from the screen that that lines up the queens, the workers and the males along with the distribution maps and any other information about those species side by side so that we can compare them directly. And that's really helpful and useful for looking at things like where the different bands are on bumblebees. For example, between the white tail and the garden bumblebee, we can see that those yellow bands are in slightly different places. So that can be really helpful when you're in the field and trying to identify one. Now, the other way you can access the compare function is from the species information page itself. So if we open up the garden bumblebee and we look at the bottom of the screen, you'll see it says explore in AR or compare. We'll come back to the explore in AR shortly, but at the moment we're going to hit the compare button. 
and you'll see that that left box is already populated with the gar and bumblebee. So we can go ahead and choose whatever bumblebee we'd like to put in the other box. Let's go for something like the tree bumblebee this time. And again, you'll see that all of those different features from the species information pages are lined up side by side to help us explore and discover and identify which bumblebee it is that we are looking at. The final feature of the app is the ability to explore and interact with a 3D model of your chosen bumblebee within your own environment using augmented reality. This feature is available for the queens of each of the eight common species. Okay, so let's have a look at how the augmented reality feature works. There are two ways you can access the augmented reality feature. Uh, the first way, again, is going to that main menu in the top left hand corner. You'll see second from the bottom, explore in augmented reality. And what you'll see is a list again of the eight common species. If you select one of those, that will take you into the Explore um, Augmented Reality feature. If we go back to the home screen, the other way that you can access the Augmented Reality feature is through the species information pages. So for example, if we choose the Bufftail Bumblebee here, at the bottom you've got that Explore in AR option at the left hand side. So I'm going to click Explore in AR. The first thing you'll see is a box that pops up with some instructions, but I'll talk you through those um, as we're using the feature. So I'll just click OK for now. And as you can see, um, it's accessed my camera screen. So the first thing you'll need to do now is just move your phone slightly from side to side to allow the software within the app to find some suitable surfaces to place your 3D model. Okay, And then what you do is you tap on the screen and um, we're going to place this bumblebee down with Nelson, the dog here. And you'll see that the bee, for the moment, is quite small. So if we want to make the bee a little bit bigger, we can use a pinching movement to zoom in. There we go. Uh, the opposite movement makes the bee smaller again. If we want to rotate the bumblebee, we move two fingers in the opposite, in opposite directions. There we go. And if we want to encourage our bumblebee to take flight, we just give it a tap and off it goes. There we go. The augmented reality feature along with all of the other features in this app work fully offline. So you can use the augmented reality feature anywhere. So in the kitchen like I just have, in the park, or in the middle of nowhere. Now if at any point you want to capture the scene in front of you, Let's make our little bumblebee fly. Then just hit the capture button at the bottom of the screen. To access your gallery, you need to go back to the home screen and you'll click on the main menu. So that's the three little bars in the top left corner. At the bottom of the main menu, you'll see the option My Gallery. Click on that and that will open up all of the images that you've taken within the app. Now, if you select one of these images, um, you'll get to view it and then you can share that image across all of the social platforms whether it be via message, WhatsApp, Instagram, Twitter, whatever social platform that you use. If you are sharing a photograph that you've taken within the app, why not tag us in your post and use the hashtag what's that bumblebee? All of the relevant information is on the screen now. The What's That Bumblebee app is a great way for absolutely anybody to engage with the bumblebees that they see around them and to learn a little bit more about them. It's also a great way to build confidence in basic bumblebee identification. To find the app, just go to the App Store or Play Store and search for What's That Bumblebee. It's free to download and don't forget to tag us in your posts.